Hey guys. Welcome back to the next devlog. Unfortunately, my voice is mostly gone due to a cold but I really want to scrap this episode off my list, so I can continue working on the game. Firstly I'd like to thank you once again, for playing slash testing the game. While most of the feedback was pretty positive, I could also identify some bugs and design flaws that needed improvement but more on that later. Let's look at what I got done in the last 4 weeks. Spoiler, it was quite a lot. The last combat mechanic of the game is grenade throwing, and it's implemented now. I took the grenade throwing from GTA 5 as a starting point, where you are able to throw grenades while aiming. Currently, the grenade makes enemies ragdoll and take a good load of damage. Right now, there's only a frag grenade available, but I plan to add more grenade types later on such as high explosive and incendiary. I've also been able to add the first medical items to the game which, you might have guessed it, heal the player. The first one is an injector which is heavily inspired by Escape from Tarkov. I've also been drafting a first aid spray type of healing item which is typical for the Resident Evil franchise. There's also a cool animated post-processing effect in place, which adds a bit more juice to the consumption. All of the animations you see, including the one when throwing a grenade are powered by tweens. Due to my heavy procedural modifications on the character's rig in late update and all of the IK setups, I can't simply use classic animations, which is why I built a system that allows me to lerp the character's limb IK targets sequentially. I can control how long a tween will take, how it eases and I've also set up different events, to link up logic, where I need to. There's also reload animations now which use this exact procedural system. And it really doesn't get more complex than that. I am simply tweening the gun, spawning a mag at a specific time and playing a couple of sounds before I hide most of the rest because there isn't any actual reloading. It's not perfect yet, but it works pretty well. The next big important thing was to link up the inventory to the actual game. This means, only being able to throw a grenade when in possession of one. Only reload, if enough ammo is there and so on. For this, I added a focus mechanic which lets you pick a special item, which you want to use when the corresponding key is pressed. This lets you actively choose which grenades you want to throw next and which combat drug you want to consume next. You can also find and pick up ammo now which directly ties to your ability to shoot. If you have no ammo, you can't shoot or reload. Said ammo can also be stacked and there's also a little indication, if two items can be combined. I've also been adding an indicator for the main resource of the game, Yoni Mat, which is a synthetic substance that will be needed to craft new weapons and upgrades. I gotta say that I am pretty happy with how the inventory is turning out. You know what else makes me extremely happy? Simply adding death scourges to your wishlist. This is a free way to directly support me in this project. Thanks to you, random internet video watcher. Now, one of the things I read very often when going through the feedback, was that the center UI dot doesn't align with the laser which makes aiming a bit confusing. Now, this makes total sense, because the laser is perfectly parallel to the camera. Since I don't want to mess with the laser, I added a second little UI dot that predicts where the player will aim when entering the aiming stance and it feels quite cool. Now, the player is able to make more precise decisions when aiming. Please let me know what you think of this feature and whether you think it's a good or lazy solution. Additionally, I've been adding all the guns I have currently planned for the game including a giant handheld minigun. Besides that, there are also pistols, 
MPs, rifles and shotguns. Since most of the guns and animations are procedural, adding new ones was pretty simple. And speaking of guns, there's also a little gun switching animation in place right now which makes switching less snappy. I am happy to say that I managed to add all the mechanics I had initially planned for the game. A player controller including satisfying gun combat, AI teammates that follow you and obey your orders, a basic grid-based inventory system, and basic humanoid enemies. But all these systems are all standing there on their own, there's not much to play now so let's actually start creating the game. Therefore, I already started concepting the first laboratory level, but I still gotta figure stuff out on this end. I also want to add a bit more variety on the enemy end. My current plan is to have a fully polished laboratory level ready to play by the end of October 2023 where the last Steam Next Fest happens, and then release later in 2023 with another Steam Next Fest. But we will have to see how things play out. I hope you're in for the ride. And I also hope that you found this video interesting, because it ends right here. Thank you once again for watching and make sure to check out the game on Steam if you haven't already. You can try and play the game's demo there. As always, please don't spill your beer.